This product or gadget that I found on AliExpress and cost me three US dollars, and the price will will depend on the which version you will choose. It have 10 amperes, 20 or 30 amperes, and it's my best find in this month. And what is it? It's a solar charge controller, 12 volts, 24 volts. You can choose 30, 20 or 10 amperes. Auto LCD, dual USB, 5 volts output, full photovoltaic, solar panel, PV regulator, low discharger. Yes. This is a solar charger for batteries. I ordered it 20 amperes. I wait and I got it. Oh. Again, no bubbles. What is happening? Are they out of bubbles? Hmm. Here it is, the charger. The instruction manual. I will not throw this time because I need to read it. And take a look at this gadget. This model is one of the most popular or most selled solar charger out there. It have a LCD screen, two USB power outputs, three push buttons at front. Also we have these three connectors for connecting the solar panel, the battery and the load. And that's it. Let's see what it says in description. Rated voltage 10 amperes to 30 amperes Rated current from 40 to 60 amperes. Maximum photovoltaic voltage for 12 volt battery up to 23 volts, up to 46 volts on 24 volt, 24 volts battery. Okay, full cutoff voltage 14.4, discharge cutoff voltage 10.7, discharge recovery voltage 12.6, charge recovery voltage 13.2. Okay, house, this is important USB output 2 USB 5 volts 2.5 amperes okay standby current 10 milliamperes operating temperature minus 35 to plus 60 it weighs 160 grams one is 13 centimeters by 7 by 3.5 centimeters the rated voltage for for my controller controller is 12 or 24 volts I choose 20 amperes and the maximum photovoltaic voltage is 46 volts. Okay, maximum PV input power is 260 for 12 or 520 watts for 24 volts. That is my model. On place where it says to connect the battery, I connect wires from my power supply and I'm sending 12.6 volts. Also, I connect a small bulb as load and this button when it's pressed is activating the load turning on or off okay the first button is the menu button and this is the 14.4 volts is the float voltage this one is the discharge reconnect 10.7 volts is the discharge stop this is the time that you need to set 24 hours and this one b1 is to select which battery you are using 12 or 24 volts that's it. It's very simple. And right now I'm gonna connect a solar panel and my battery so you can see how it's working. Oh, oh let me check the, the USB. Yep, it's giving 5 volts. Great. Okay, here it is my small 12 volts one amper panel and also i will put a link in the description below so you can check it this panel is good one because it's it's flexible all right it's a small panel but it's working great and that panel is connected to the solar controller going on the first connector on the second is connected the battery and on the third one is connected the load now when I press it the light bulb turn on turning off and right now I'm charging the, the battery 
through the solar charge controller from the solar panel. On this multimeter you can monitor the current that is charged in the battery. Unfortunately this solar charger doesn't show how much current is pulling from the solar panel. All right. This is 14.4 volts that is the maximum voltage when the battery is fully charged. This is the lowest 12.6 volts that is the minimum for charging the battery and this is the stop 10.7 disconnect 24 hours a time this is the which type of battery you have it and you can see on the LCD display that there is a arrow flashing meaning that is pulling a current from solar panel and giving to the battery and when you turn on the load also it shows this sign of light bulb with arrow working great this is a small current but also I have a bigger solar panel that is giving uh, I don't know maybe 8 amperes and maybe in the future videos I will show you that too you can also use this charge controller to charge your battery using a external power supply you don't need to use a solar panel you can use your power supply to charge your battery and that will be controlled look right now the arrow is flashing meaning that battery is charged by my power supply and also one more time to to explain when you hit this is the float voltage 12.6 is discharge reconnect 10.7 volts is discharge stop this is the time 24 hours this is the select for battery type and this is the main display when it shows how many volts have the battery perfect this is the cheapest solution for charging your battery using solar panel or external power supply in different countries the price will be different I checked that is from around 3 US dollars and to 10 US dollars depends where you are living and which type you have chosen there is 10 amperes 20 amperes like mine and 30 amperes I hope you like today's video so please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya here it is a good trick never to lose the user manual for this product all right problem fix it